Hi friends, today we are going to see about SAP tables. Generally tables are used to store the data. Here also same purpose. SAP tables, a table can contain one or more fields, each defined with its data type and length. The large amount of the data stored in a table is distributed among the several fields defined in the table. There are three types of tables available in SAP. First one is transparent table. Second one is pooled table and another one is cluster table. For maintaining the tables, we are going with table maintenance generator. It's a tool available in a web by which we can add, insert, delete operations. This TMG is executed or triggered by the transaction code SM30. Now we are going to learn how to create SAP tables. The first, we have to enter the T code SC11. After that, make sure you have clicked the database table available in the list. Let's say we now create a table called Customer Revenue with technical name ZCUST underscore Rev. Enter the name and click on the Create button. After that, you need to fill in a description for this table and a delivery class. After that, switch to the fields tab. This is the area where SAP expect us to fill in the field names, the data types or data elements and also specify if this field is a key for the table or not. Key field in the sense, this field should not modified at the time of edit operation. Let's add the first field, customer number of the length, numerical 6. I give it a technical name, zcust underscore number. But the data type field is grayed out. The only active field is data elements, which I don't have in this case. To use an internal data type, click on the predefined data type, which is available in the tabs. After Adding the fields, we, we have, have to, to the same. maintain the technical setting, attributes of table like table space, size, etc. Press the technical attributes button on application toolbar. There we have name, short text, loss change, status and data class size category. Data class we have to enter APP L01 or L01, L02, L03 based on your need. Then size category as 0. Then click save button. Now press back save and activate the table. After creating the SAP ta tables, we have to view how SAP tables are generated. For that, we have to go with transaction C11, select the database table radio button and enter the name for the table. Here you can able to view how the tables are created and what are the fields are used in tables. For viewing the table names, use the table DD02L. For table description, you can use DD02T. For table names, you can use DD03L and DD03T. Then we are going with SAP ABAP internal table. SAP ABAP internal table is a dynamic sequential data set in which all records have the same structure and a key. The internal table is used as arrays. You can read individual records of the internal table using either the index or the key using read statement. You can also loop the internal table to read all the records one by one. Read operation is used to read the single data. Loop operation is used to read um, multiple records. 